Hey everybody, good morning. It's Henry at Mowers and Blowers. Today I'm staying on the theme of Philip. Why I say Philip is that Phil is the guy that lives around here in Huntington, Long Island. Uh, we did a bunch of deals in the past. He's a local guy. Uh, and he's the guy that I traded my Echo leaf blower, backpack leaf blower for the Toro Zero Turn 616Z. Also, uh, he was the one who gave me that Honda lawnmower that I worked on yesterday. He, uh, before that, about a week before that, he also gave me this Craftsman straight shaft weed trimmer. Um, this is the kind that doesn't have a choke, but it does have a primer bulb. It has this type of recoil where you pull it and then until you build up tension it releases. Know what I'm saying? It's that type. It's called Incredipole Gas Powered Trimmer at 32 cc's. So I was messing with this a little bit. The return line needs to be replaced because it's kind of loose at the ends. But uh, I couldn't figure out why it wouldn't start because it's there's no choke thing that you can play with, whatever, you know. So I was just looking and looking and then I saw that there was this uh, red wire here. Red wire is the ignition and I noticed it was not on the spark plug. So I just put it back on. I adjusted the high-low screws with my adjustment tools for the air and fuel mixture, but then I couldn't turn it off. The kill switch is broken. It doesn't work. So now I know why. Now I know why the spark plug wire was off the spark plug is that that's the way they used the prior owner used it to turn it off because it won't turn off because there's the kill switch is busted so I'm gonna take this thing apart and see why this kill switch is busted and uh, maybe I'll just put another switch onto these wires here I gotta figure out if it's the black or the pink wire or maybe you just cut it and you attach a switch in between and that'll kill you know other than that, starts and runs great. Just this kill switch. So it's uh, four torques just right around here. And then two more here to complete disassembly of the handle. Feels kind of loose, as if somebody tried to fix it before. It is just the uh, pink and um, black wire. There's a switch right here. And what I could see is this black wire is kind of um, messed up, but it's still connected, it should work.
I'm going to get you closer so you can see. As you can see, this black wire is uh, kind of thrashed over here. But it looks like it's uh, still connected. But I'm going to clean that up and um, reconnect it. Maybe that might be it. So I reconnected it after I spliced the sheathing. So now it has a good connection. I'm going to start it up now and uh, I'm going to put the spark plug boot back on there. Start it up and see if it, the switch works. Look, I'm touching ground. It's not shutting off. So, uh, the problem is probably not the switch, but rather the other end of it that goes to the, um, now how did this go? I don't think it matters actually. Problem is maybe the wire is disconnected from the magneto is what it is. So the problem could be in here, on this side of it. That's great. I'd love to just take that apart. Lots of fun. So I couldn't get the uh, clutch off because it has this uh, what appears to be like a hex bolt on the inside and that out of all these it doesn't fit. So I just took the back covers off right and traced the wire Look what I found. <laughs> it's not even connected to the magneto. I mean look. It's so loose, it just fell off. You think that could be it? Because look, if it's not it, I'd have to replace all this stuff back again just to see if it starts again, you know? Just to figure out that it's not it. But I'm pretty sure that's it since this wasn't even, hang this was just sitting there like that, you know what I mean? So I'm gonna crimp this tighter, put that on and I think that's it. Um, while I'm here, I'm gonna replace that, uh, return line, and that should be it. That is if I could figure out how to get the whole thing back together again.
truth, put everything back together again. I think I did it right. Replaced the uh, return line too. I think I reversed the uh, switch. Oh well. The other line broke, the fuel line broke. Of course it breaks when, uh, that's great. <laughs> hey guys, so uh, guess what? I've been at this for some time now, I've taken the whole thing apart <laughs> several times, and now it won't start. I checked for spark, there's spark. Uh, it just won't start anymore. Um, when I removed the shaft, right, and I put it back on, it started, and then the thing didn't spin, you know? The motor? I mean, not the motor, the, uh, you know, the, the thing. The thing that has the string trimmers out. Whatever, that thing. The wheel. It didn't spin. Engine was on, but that didn't spin. So I remembered that the connection between uh, the spinning thing and the clutch on here, when you push it in, you could push it all the way in and it's not like the square thing is not in the clutch, you know? So I took it apart again, put it back together, made sure that thing spun when I pulled it, but then it didn't start all of a sudden. So I took this apart again and I want to show you how the auto choke works on this thing, which is, believe it or not, my first one. I've never had a auto choke on a weed whacker before, but here's how it works. So, as you can see, the thing is open, right? So when you pull it, right, when you pull the cord, look, this thing pulls this and it closes the choke flap, see? So if you actually pull it hard enough, it clicks and it keeps this choke flap closed uh, really tight. And then if you squeeze the trigger, it disengages it, watch. See? Either way, it doesn't, it doesn't start. I even checked compression. Compression was like 25, 25 or 30, something like that. But, but uh, I mean, I feel pretty good compression. You know what I'm saying? It's actually kind of hard to pull. <laughs> I changed the line on here. Everything feels great, you know, but just nothing. Not of the one. I checked for spark again. There was spark. Just won't start. You guys saw before, it was running great. Now it just won't start. There's spark and everything. I'm uh, about to give up. I know I don't usually give up, but I've spent a lot of time on a weed whacker already and I don't want to. I'm just gonna remove the muffler. So I can check out the piston. see some seeping fluids in there. Don't know if you should be seeing seeping fluids. So I was just about to give up. 
until I uh, decided that I was just going to reset the fuel adjustment screws. Turned them both in all the way and took them out three half turns, one and a half turns. And I just started pumping it and this close to just giving up. Then I figure I'd mess with the screws. That's all it was. Fuel adjustment screws needed to be changed over again. So that's it. I don't like two-stroke stuff. I especially don't like straight shafts. I'm gonna give this away to somebody. It's not very reliable, and it's hard to pull. I don't like it at all. But we got it to uh, shut off. That was the whole thing about this thing, is that it runs and everything, you just couldn't shut it off. And all it was was just the magneto wire came off the tab. But in the process, I took the whole damn thing apart, and it wouldn't start for a while, and I don't even think it'll start right now. Okay, so it starts now. Uh, anyway, that's it for today. Wasting my time on a two-stroke weed eater. I hate two-strokes. Five-speed Ash, you got me to do this, man. I hate two-stroke stuff. But uh, anyway, hope you guys got a kick out of today's episode. I'll see you guys next time on Mowers and Blowers. But wait, there's more. I uh, had to go to my mom's house because uh, her lawn is out of control. I was just here a couple weeks ago, but geez. Crazy how how high this grass has gone. Uh, as you guys know, the Black Beauty battery was dead. So I brought a new battery to change over at the Black Beauty. And I filled up a whole bunch of gas. And I brought my charger and my bag full of tools so I can swap out the battery of the Black Beauty. The Black Beauty lives! Just a real quick battery change. Took the uh, shoot off and put a mulch cover on. Took the bagger system off.
Got a new battery from April 20th, 2020. My hitch, dual purpose ball hitch, and regular garden trailer one. Started right up. Of course, the shoot. I've had. I've had better shoots. I could use another Murray shoot. They're so expensive. You'll have to try to patch that baby up. This still leaf blower that Larry gave me a while back never starts. So I'm taking it home and maybe I'll work on it. Right now I'm gonna mow my lawn or mow my mom's lawn. Black Beauty did a great job. I mean, my mom, she's almost 80. She doesn't water her lawn, you know? So, it is what it is. Looks much better now, though.